In this video, we're practicing double knife hand block. Are you ready? Double knife hand block is a move that is seen often in Taekwondo pumse or Taekwondo forms. The Korean word for double knife hand block is du sonnal maki. Du for double, sonnal for knife hand, and maki for block. We're going to do two different types of double knife hand block, double knife hand low block, and double knife hand middle block. Let's start by practicing double knife hand low block. Hands up first, fingers together, thumbs tucked on the side. Once everything is stretched out completely, then just curl the very top of your fingertips and really make a strong hand on both sides, making good, solid knife hands. Now that we're set, let's take our right hand and we're going to place that over our ear. Left hand stretch out, left hand with the palm down, right hand with the palm towards your ear. Now let's make the motion, slow motion, with your right hand twisting downwards with our wrist angle flat. The opposite hand goes inward to protect your solar plexus. So, ready position twisting into the main position. Ready, go. Ready, and once again, try to twist at the very last moment. Let's go together, go. Ready, go. Covering the solar plexus and downward. Opposite side, let's do it the other way. Reach. Put your left hand over your ear. You will be blocking downwards and covering your solar plexus. Set, go. Set, go. Set, go. Excellent. Let's do the same block, now blocking the body. So instead of a low block, we're going to do a double knife hand middle block. Same ready position if we're blocking to our right side. Instead of blocking straight down, this time keep your elbow bent and block with your hand, even with your shoulder. You might remember we did the same thing with our body blocks, that we kept everything the same height as our shoulder, not too low and not too high, same thing. Make a double knife hand that finishes with the hand slightly away from your body and one hand covering the solar plexus. Again, ready, go. Ready, you're gonna see my wrist unwinding or twisting, go, twist. Ready, go. Let's do the other side now. Ready, and as you can see, I'm looking towards my target. My target is to my right and to your left. That means everything will be reaching away from that side, the opposite side, reaching and setting. Now, go. Ready? Go. Go ahead and double check that your hand is on the solar plexus and the other hand is away from your body. And it's very important to double check your wrist as well that you are not straightening your hand or bending your wrist, but try your best to keep a flat wrist with a slight curl and bend on your elbow. So set up and go. Try to make that position and hold it and feel both of your knife hands in the final position. Now I'd like to show you from a front view. If I did exactly the same block, but I were to reach from the side and do the block towards you, I'd like you to notice that the front hand is in the proper position with the elbow naturally slightly flaring out to the side. I guess what the main thing that I wanted to emphasize to you is you don't have to make everything aligned in one straight line. When we do that, it's not going to be a natural block and you might end up having your arm too close to your body. So we want this hand 
to be extended away from our body and our elbow to be in a natural position slightly out. The opposite hand, once again, is covering the solar plexus. And if we spread our chest, we should have a very smooth, very large and natural blocking position, not a move that is too tight. This block, whether it's middle or low, is typically done together with back stance in forms practice. Let's work on combining both the upper body and lower body in back stance, moving to your right. Both arms, reach to your left, look to your right, slightly bend your knees, and step and throw a double knife hand low block with the back stance. Check your stance, check your hand positions, and check your posture. Reach and bring that arm back, or bring that leg in. Step with your right foot and block. And double check, hand on the solar plexus, other hand out in front, chest spread, good back stance. Again, set and go. Set and go. Now, set, and instead of going low, let's throw our middle block. Step, double knife in middle. Double check the points, your hand not too close to your body, and as high as your shoulder, step and go. Same thing, slightly away from your body, covering the solar plexus and spreading your chest. Set and go. One more, set and go. To finish this introduction to double knife hand block, we're gonna put everything together. In a moment, you're going to be starting from ready stance and you're going to be moving to your right and then always coming back to home base and then moving to your left. You're gonna be getting ready, coming back to home base, going to the middle, back to home base, going to the middle and that full set of four double knife hand blocks, low, low, middle, middle, will be one set. When we finish five sets, we'll be done. Are you ready? Let's begin. Chubi. Hello. Ayo. 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 Three. Ayo. 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 Set. How'd you do with that? Was it harder than it looked? I bet it was. This is not an easy technique, but I'm proud that you made it through the end of this lesson. Practice on your own and be patient. Try to pay attention to the details, and every now and then when you're practicing, just look down and make sure that your stance and upper body and hand positions are all in the places that we talked about. Practice over and over again, and you will see great improvement. We'll see you in the next one.